Hey everybody, it's David Kyle, and I'm doing this month's Question of the Month. And of course, if you want to submit your own Question of the Month, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question. So this month's question comes from Fiona, who's a dear friend of mine actually. Um, but it's a good question. Uh, I've always been taught that the bent knee should never go beyond the toes, e.g. in Warrior Two, But I don't really know why. Is this absolutely vital for knee health? And if so, why? Um, and then she has in uh, parentheses here, especially when I come across articles like this, I'm not gonna read you the whole URL, um, but it's uh, from trustmephysiotherapy.com. I'm gonna put the link below, in, on my website at least. Um, and it forward slash myth, knees never pass your toes. So Fiona wants to know what's my view. Well, by the way, thanks for sending me that link because Thankfully, it's somebody who um, linked to research that was done on this very topic. Uh, this is something that comes up a lot in yoga classes. I've been asked this question many times before about knees as I tell people often to take their knee beyond their ankle. Um, and my position on it has always been there, there is nothing inherently wrong with your knee moving past your ankle joint. It's, you know, really far forward is, owing, is just going to add more and more stress and strain to the, to the knee joint itself. But it's not like we're loading loads of weight onto our back while doing it, which would of course increase the forces going into the knee. The bigger issue, and I think um, the thing we need to be more careful about when we're doing yoga poses where the knee is moving forward onto the ankle or above or, or beyond, is um, when the knee starts to sneak inward, which is the direction that it usually goes, as it sneaks inwards, then you have forces moving at different directions through the knee joint. And um, that is more likely to increase the possibility of injury, but even that by itself doesn't necessarily cause injury. Uh, repetitiveness of that can lead to more trouble. So uh, if you're dealing with a total beginner, better, better to err on the side of caution, which is to keep the knee over the ankle joint. Um, as you advance more and your quadriceps get stronger, you should have no problem if your knee sneaks past your ankle. So I just want to mention a couple of things that were brought up in the uh, research that was quoted in this article that you, that you linked to. Um, so while squatting with restricted forward knee movement showed a 22% decrease in knee torque, there was a 1,070% increase in hip torque. This is a lot more work for the hip and low back musculature to perform and is a potentially more dangerous squatting method for the lower back. So of course, if you're taking the torque or force or pressure out of the knee joint, it's going somewhere. Where is it going? If it's going into the hip, that's probably not a huge problem because the hip muscles are really strong, can handle it. But getting into the low back maybe is a little bit more tenuous. Um, so in summary, if your knee goes past your ankle a little bit, it's, it shouldn't be a problem. That's normal, natural movement. We should be able to sustain that without any trouble. Um, if it's tilting in, that's more problematic. All right, and remember, if the, knees come, if the pressure's coming out of the knee, it's going into somewhere else, which you can also use to your advantage. All right, I hope that clarified things for you, Fiona. Uh, if you've got a question of the month, go ahead to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question, and I'll answer it for you.